Let's go. We never thought that we'd ever end up here, but... Hello, Georgia! We arrived in Tbilisi at 4 a.m. And we lost about two hours, so our bodies thought that it was two o'clock and it was actually four o'clock. And by the time we got to our Airbnb, we just crashed. We'd only managed to get like two hours of sleep in the night. So we slept until like midday, which is so unusual for us. But now that we're out and exploring, we're so excited to see as much as we can. Oh, so we actually don't even have a plan for the day. We don't know where we're going. All we know is that we're going out for a bit of a walk and we're taking the cameras with us. Now we've heard quite a few amazing things about the traditional Georgian food and we are starving. So first things first, we're heading out to find some traditional Georgian food. traditional Georgian restaurant. They only serve traditional Georgian food here and we are so excited to eat. We haven't eaten in way too many hours. We were expecting to get some food on our flight but unfortunately we only got like a tiny little sandwich so and it's one o'clock already <laughs> so we're very ready for some nice Georgian food. So what we've got here is something called chanachi, which is basically like a lamb stew type vibe. And then over here we have called a, what's it called again? Can't remember the name. <laughs> so basically this is like a bread that is just filled with cheese and cheese and cheese. There's two different types of cheese. And something with uh, Georgian uh, culture and tradition is that they're very, very big into their bread and cheese. So I'm very excited to try this. Okay, we got the name. This is called Hajapuri and we got something else as well. So we got traditional Georgian dumplings and these are called Kinkali, I believe. So it's basically a dumpling that's filled with a mixture of beef and pork. Delicious. So we've been told that the traditional way to eat, what's it called again? Kinkali. The kinkali is to eat it with your hands because there's like a, a soup, basically like a liquid inside. So you take a little bite and then you basically suck the soup or the liquid out. Like, 
is so rich and just so tasty and delicious basically. <laughs> Every mouthful of this is just an explosion of flavors. My tongue is tingling all over. It tastes delicious. And there's a little bit of like a zing to it, a little bit of spiciness there, but it is so, so good. That food was absolutely delicious. And you can believe us when we say that we were starving when we came here. And as you can see, we still have leftovers. And we did a quick little calculation and that came to about 44 Georgian Leary, we believe it's called, or Lara, something, something along those lines. We'll put the full expense breakdown at the end of the video. But I mean, for this amount of food, for that price, it is just ridiculous. That was so, so cheap. But we have to go and find another fun and exciting activity that we found just before coming here. Let's take a quick walk over. So the food that we got earlier wasn't actually as cheap as we thought it was. It was still really reasonably priced, but the price that we thought it was was the untaxed price because that is the price that's stated in the menu. And we actually learned that the tax is not actually standard for like every restaurant. I don't know if it's depending on region or like the different restaurants, but some restaurants will have a tax of maybe 15% while other restaurants will have a tax of 18%. So that's just something we'll have to keep in mind moving forward in this country. And in South Africa, there's a saying, mach is full, uach is too, which basically means that as soon as your tummy is all nice and full and warm, you immediately just want to go to sleep your eyes start closing that's exactly how i feel right now but we can't sleep because we've got limited time and we want to try to see as much as we can The craziest thing just happened. We were busy sitting here, finishing off the last little bit of our wine, and we heard these two very distinct accents coming from the boat tour that was leaving after us. So we quickly went up to them, asked, are you guys South African? To our surprise, they said yes. And just like that, we started chatting. And that's one of the cool things about being a South African and meeting other South Africans traveling like this, is that we spoke to them for less than a minute, and just in that space of less than a minute you really feel like you long last friends and we really just like struck up a really good relationship with them we even offered to to meet up somewhere a little bit later and go for some drinks so this has been our first experience of georgia we hope you guys enjoyed coming along with us and experiencing it with us for the first time if you enjoyed this video please give it a big thumbs up it really helps us out a lot this is actually the first country that we've been to get to together that neither of us have ever been to before and we're really excited to explore more of georgia and experience more of the culture here we are loving it so far and the people here the atmosphere it's just there's something in the air and we really really are enjoying it so far 
So when we arrived this morning, we arrived under the cover of darkness. It was pitch black and already just driving through the town and driving through the streets, this place is absolutely beautiful. And honestly, it's nothing that we were ever expecting coming to Georgia in the first place. So we really are excited to learn more about this wonderful country. So in case you're wondering, we've actually managed to find another workaway here in Georgia. And this place sounds absolutely amazing. Now we won't tell you too much about it just yet. We'll definitely be making lots and lots and lots of videos about this place because it honestly just sounds like a dream and we are so excited to get there. Now, unfortunately, during traveling, we found out that on top of the negative COVID test that we had to provide to get to Georgia in the first place, we now have to wait an extra three days in Tbilisi itself to provide another negative COVID test before we can move on to our next spot. So we'll be staying in Tbilisi just for a few days and after that heading out to our next workway spot. We would love to know if any of you guys had maybe never thought of traveling to Georgia before and since seeing this video maybe this has opened up your eyes to a different country that you could travel to. We know for sure that we had never ever <laughs> anticipated coming to Georgia. We'd never even thought of it as a country to possibly go and visit until very recently. So let us know in the comments if maybe you would want to come and visit this country after seeing our video. We would absolutely love it if you subscribed and joined us for all of our adventures moving forward and all the countries we plan on going to in the future. And of course, we'll see you guys back this coming Tuesday. interesting fact they told us about this river is it actually flows all the way from Turkey to the Caspian Sea. Caspian Sea. Let me do that all over again. Thanks for not correcting me until now, Marek. Are you ready? I haven't. Oh, okay, yeah. let's go. And of course, subscribe so you can join us for all the adventures that we plan on going to. <laughs> oh my goodness. subscribe ah <laughs> oh. <clears throat> and of course subscribe no, <laughs> I'm really struggling what's it called again ah oh, chanachi and a I can't remember, we'll have to ask. <laughs>